Nigerian media gave Bonoboy credits for records I set, Sheung Kuti says. Afrobeat musician Sheung Kuti has lamented that Bonoboy is incorrectly being credited for records set by him and others in the Nigerian music scene. Speaking in a recent interview with the public, with the public Republic, Sheung Kuti stated that his album Black Times was nominated for Best World Music Album years ago, but no African Award organizer considered it for a nomination. He also mentioned that before Bono Boy earned his first Grammy nomination for Best World Music Album with African Giants, his elder brother Femi Kuti had received multiple nominations in the category. The singer also stated that despite earning another Grammy nomination for his contributions to General Monet's Age of Pleasure, which was nominated in the Album of the Year category at the 2024 Grammys, the media didn't mention him among the Nigerian artists nominated for the 66th Grammys. He said, and I quote, my brother, Femi Kuti has been nominated at the Grammys multiple times. They've nominated me. I was also nominated in the last edition. It was only my name that day Nigerian media didn't mention among the Nigerian artists who were nominated for the 66th Grammys. That's what they do every time as if I'm from Togo. <laughs> he continued and I quote, that's how they said Bono Boy was the first Nigerian artist to play in Coachella in 2020 where me I have played in 2020, 2012 as if I'm from Togo. In related news, Sheung Kuti, son of Afrobeat pioneer Fela Kuti and Damian Marley, son of reggae music icon Bob Marley, are set to release a landmark single titled Day. While the late music legends Fela Kuti and Bob Marley never got to collaborate, their famous sons Sheung Kuti and Damian Marley are set to give fans a highly anticipated collaboration. The upcoming track will feature Sheung Kuti's Egypt 80 band alongside Damian Marley, promising a fusion of Afrobeat and reggae that is sure to resonate with fans across the globe. The single set for release on June 26, 2024 comes ahead of Sheung Kuti's new album, which the Grammy-nominated Afrobeat star revealed will be executive produced by American music icon Lenny Kravitz. Oh, well. <laughs> <sighs> Exciting stuff. So, Every time she will say something, there's always <laughs> exciting stuff there. Well, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly, exactly say it's exciting. I'm just saying um, he is quite controversial. I mean, he likes... So he the likes, second part he, is exciting. He, he, <laughs> he likes the headlines. Um, but I mean, I agree with him when he says he has actually performed on amazing stages. Yeah. He had performed at um, Coachella, Coachella in 2012. Yep. And... Um, yeah, and Sheung is actually a big deal outside. Yeah, he is. I won't lie. Sheung is. is actually a big deal outside. He has performed on big stages, big, big um, arenas. He's been nominated theaters. for international yeah, awards. Nominated. Um, as to why uh, he's not been um, celebrated as much in the media, mm -hmm. I don't have that answer. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, we should give him his flowers. He has yes, definitely done so much. Um, but. Also looking at it, you know, um, not to even belittle his achievements or anything, but um, Femme Kuti, we've always talked about Femme Kuti. Yes, we have. With all his nominations, we've actually given Femme Kuti his, his recognition, yeah. his flowers. He was one of the first guys to set that pace mm -hmm. in terms of Grammy nominations yeah. from Nigeria. Yeah. You know, um, so definitely, and the world also respects him for that as of well. Of course. Um, for him... I don't, I don't really know what to say. So it seems like every time Sheung Kuti's name comes up, people are like, hey, hey, what's going on? Mm. So uh, right now, he's telling his truth, and a lot mm. of people will say, oh, he's capping. But at the end of the day, he's just telling his truth, and he's saying that, yes, this is what has happened so far, and that is how he feels. Mm. Because sometimes you need to consider things from both sides of the coin. You can't know how the person is feeling until you hear the other party's story, mm. and you realize that, oh, this person saw it from this angle, the other person saw it from this angle, then there was miscommunication in the middle. Uh, so he feels that he set that record and he should be recognized for that instead of no, I think Boy. he's fighting the wrong battle because it's not even about the record setting and anything. Sheung Kuti will definitely always get shows and of gigs course. outside. Of and course. we know why. Even Made Kuti will get shows, will of get course. gigs, will get gigs. Uh -uh. So, I mean, just, just to veer off the road a bit and, you know, adding a little bit of pepper inside. Hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if, you take out, if you take out the name Fela Kuti mm -hmm. and you just, you know, put it aside and take Femi and you take um, 
you take Shea Wong as well. Femi's disc discography is quite good. Yeah, it is. Right, I mean, there's songs, Femi songs that mm. have gone worldwide yeah. that we know, you know, yeah, like... of course. In, I'm not saying his discography is not great, but I don't think he has that sound that everybody can say, this is Shea sound. This is Shea hit song. So I think issue is fighting the wrong battle. So we recognize you, we recognize your greatness, we recognize where you're coming from. It's the mm -hmm. same thing, the Malis, we recognize the yep, Malis, we recognize of all of them. But you see those, those kids, they have their own discography. They are from their father, which mm -hmm. is Bob Mali, but they have their own song. Ziggy Mali has his, all of them have, all yeah, the Mali, they have the, even the new guy. You know, YG Mali yeah. has his own sound and it's just, it's extended, you know, it's not even, so, I mean, and then there's the collaboration which mm -hmm. they've done. So, I think that's the conversation we should be having now. Oh. So, that is what is exciting yeah. me at the moment because, like we reported, mm -hmm. both fathers were not able to do that. Yeah. But now the kids are doing it and that's something exciting to look forward I to. Mean, I mean, this the is future. something that is worth um, the news and yeah. this is something we should... Add. Shaun should not be dragging anything with Bonaboy. This is what he should focus on now. This is big. This is great for the culture yeah. of African music, of Afrobeat mm -hmm. and reggae music. The two legends are legends of, of like, see, you mentioned Fela, you mentioned Bob Marley, you mentioned Michael Jackson, yeah. almost in the same um, breath. So these guys, this collaboration is something I'm looking forward to, and I cannot wait to... What I really cannot yeah, wait. Yeah. Fusion of Afrobeat and mm -hmm. Reggae. Huh, sounds It'll be nice. super It'll be nice. exciting. I mean, yeah, amazing. Did you, did you hear Ashake's song with Central C? Which yes, I heard it. I did, it was did, different. Yeah, amazing. Was something different. Amazing. Looking forward to many more to come. Very All right. Cool.